Okay, so this is another project we're going to do, and this is the pinwheel. I've taught this a lot, and some people think it's a little confusing, so I'll try to teach you digitally. You can always, like, pause and stop or rewind whenever you think it's a little, it gets a little tricky. But if you think about it, it won't be so tricky, so just hang on. So first, like, you want to ro rotate your square so it's, like, pointing up and down or whatever you want to call it. Then... So, first fold this top corner to the bottom one. Like this. And unfold it so you get a line going through. Do it again, except the right edge to the left. Or the point. Or the tip. Or the corner. Whatever. Once you get that, you should get a plus sign or a cross, whatever you want to call it. Then you fold this top quarter to the center. So now you get like this penguin-like thing, but it's not really a penguin. So then you want to fold this bottom corner to the center too. get like a hexagon like thing. Flip it over. You want to fold these two corners to the center. Here's a little note. We're going to fold a lot to the center. And it's and you have to make it as neat as possible because the final steps will be very tricky if you don't fold neatly. So now, you, now that you've got this, like squares with two triangles like sticking out on both sides, you want to fold this bottom right corner to the center, and this top left corner to the center. Now we've got a hexagon with a lot of triangles sticking out. Flip it over, do the same thing. Take these two edges and fold them to the center. And then once you do that, you'll have a square that has a bunch of triangles on each side. Now this part might be a little tricky, but if you know and understand what to do, it could be pretty, it's really simple. It's simpler than it looks. So, if you, like, examine your paper. There should be two flaps on each side. In this case, it's this flap over here and this flap over here. I'm going to take one of those flaps and pull it out. Now you get one point sticking out. Do that with the other flap. Pull it out. But don't pull it out so hard that this falls up like this comes up. We do not want that to come up. And we do not want it to rip either. Flip it over. Do the same thing. And then, once you do that, you're done. There is a pinwheel.